Good morning, family. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is November 3rd, 2016, and this is a new segment that I am bringing to my channel, and it is called Thought of the Day, Thought of the Day, excuse me, Thursday. So, um, on this Thought of the Day Thursday, um, I was kind of pondering, like, you know, what is it that I want to talk about? Um, there's two things that um, are hitting my spirit real tough. And so uh, we're going to talk about two different things today. Now, it's not going to always be two times. Let me just go and say this. It's not going to always be two times that I'm going to do two videos. Um, more times than not, I'll just do one. But today, um, I'm just kind of driven to uh, speak on um, another topic. And the other topic is, um, can you love someone that's broken? How to love someone that's broken? Those, uh, somewhere on that realm. So we're gonna talk about that after we talk about this. Um, but this um, segment of Thought of the Day Thursday is about riches and wealth. What is the difference? What, what does it feel like? What is it? You know, um, I think personally everybody's interpretation of rich is different. It's rather subjective. What some people may find to be rich, another may find to be just common living. Okay, so you, everybody has their own realm or their own dream or their own um, perception of what rich is. But for me, I deem rich to be, uh, I deem it to be temporary. I also deem it to be possessions. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, the reason why that I say that it's um, temporary is because you get burnt out. You know, you can only buy so many things. You can only go to, you know, certain places. You can only uh, do certain things. And then after that, you become to be weird, as some people will call it. It's like, you know, now you're thrill-seeking and attention-seeking for something that you have so many things. And it's like, now what else do I do? You know, now you're trying to find what your purpose is in this life. And um, respectfully, a prime example of the rich mentality, even though um, once he gets his mental together, then it would definitely, because he has all of the makings for it to be wealth. But Justin Bieber, I mean, he's out here doing the most. He's out here doing rich shit. You know, and um, you tend to get burnt out. It's like an engine that's running too fast. What's going to happen? You're going to blow a head gasket. Or you're going to have a heart attack. Your heart is pumping so fast, it's just going to give way. It's been working so hard, so hard, so hard, so hard, so hard. Something is going to have to crash. You can only work so hard at some point, and then it's going to be a crash. You know, and it's like, okay, do I crash, and am I going to catapult up? Or am I going to crash and I'm going to fail and burn and just give up and, you know, all those types of things. Well, for me, when I look at um, rich, rich, when I see rich, I feel like rich is having some stake in this life. You know, owning something, owning a piece of the rock, you know, owning a home, um, driving a nice car, have really, really cool possessions, um... Being able to buy whatever you want, you know, whatever it is that you want, not whatever it is somebody else wants you to buy, but whatever it is that you want, because everybody don't pray for the same things. Everybody not into the same things. Some girls like um, Ulta and some don't like Ulta. They like Sephora. You know, it's just simply a matter of taste or in a possessions um, state. Some women like Fendi and some women like Chanel. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's just somewhat to me, it's subjective in a matter of taste. Now for me, I feel as though rich 
it's so temporary because you're gonna burn out. What are you going? What are you gonna do? After a while, people believe that tend to believe that. Okay, now you're bragging, you're boasting, you're doing this, 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 this. and you don't have to be doing any of that. But it is the people that um, haven't reached a certain pivotal level that they believe that they should be at, and so they find everything that you do to be. Um, Oh, this bitch is condescending. Oh, she's a narcissist. Or this, 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 this. Because it's you. It's your own demons that's eating you up. You know, whereas this person over here don't even know you and not even tripping on what you're thinking of. And it's like, you know, I'm going to go to everything. And I'm going to say this. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to say that. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to fill everybody else's head up with the bullshit. You know what I mean? To kind of, you know, take the shine off of this person because of jealousy and envy. And it's like, wow, you know, riches bring forth all of those types of things. Riches bring forth um, motherfuckers that want to come in and break in your house. Come and take your shit. You know, come and try to fight you out in the, in the, in the public. Lord have mercy. I don't even want to talk that shit in existence. Let me knock on some wood or whatever on that. Because, you know, people will find you to be um, so this, this, and this. They tend to want to take you off of this pedestal that they've actually put you on. They put you on that pedestal. They don't want to admit that, but they put you on that pedestal. Why? Because they saw your potential. Okay? And so, you know, in this YouTube game, this grew me up a lot. You know, there's times when, you know, people will point out things that you really need to focus on. Um, I've had that a couple of times. And, um... You know, then there's times when it's just dumb shit that, you know, you like, wait a minute, what are they talking about? You know what I mean? So, but riches bring forth that type of stuff because riches bring forth, you know, the green-eyed devil or somebody's being mad. So, I don't want to be rich. I don't want to be rich. Now, I was asked over the weekend, um, do you want to be, do you want to, you know, do you want to be rich? Well, according to them, apparently I wasn't rich. That's what I'm saying to you, that riches is um, considered as subjective. And so when I was asked, do I want to be rich? And I said, no. And they were like, no, you don't want to be rich? What? In my, in, in, in my mind, I'm already rich. I'm already there. I have whatever I want. I can go buy whatever I want. I drive a very nice car. I own my own stuff. I'm not running from anybody. I'm not hooking and crooking to make it. You know, my kids are, are, are good. You know, they're finding their own way. And it's just a joy to be able to watch it. But now I want wealth. My vision of wealth. And wealth is rested. Wealth speaks at a whisper. Whereas rich is in volume and all of this. Loud. Look at my, you know what I'm saying, my Turkish rope around my neck. I got this cross that's a half a pound around my neck. That's riches. You know what I mean? Oh, I got these Jordans on. This, that's some rich shit. But wealthy? Oh, my God. They speak in a whisper. They're not, um, the way I see it, they're not, it's not about bragging or boasting, but when you come into their circle or when, when you come into their private space, you can see where their money went. You know what I mean? It's not so much as putting these rims on this car or having this enormous beat or whatever. It's not so much of, you know, you rocking Chanel and Louis Vuitton and things of like that. It's not so much of that. It's so much of you have time to enjoy the fruits of your labors, to be able to enjoy the things that you built for yourself. And not only that, the longevity of it all. Because wealth brings forth um, a long line of wealth. You know what I mean? I believe that wealth is a mindset. I believe that um, wealth is generational. You know what I mean? Um, that's leaving a legacy. Um, and for me, I want to leave legacy, not only in my personal life, but also on this platform, is the fact that when I'm dead and gone, there's thousands and thousands of videos of this lady. Some days she would come on here cussing. Some days she would come on here cooking. Some days she on here clowning. And some days she on here cutting up. But either way, she this bitch is entertaining. Okay? And it's free. I can just cut on my internet and I can watch this crazy motherfucker. Yeah. So, 
you know, that to me is a feeling of wealth. The feeling of wealth to me is walking in purpose, you know, total purpose and living in total zen. Your feng shui is on 10. Your chakras are aligned. You don't owe nobody. You don't care what nothing costs. You know what I mean? You're not even tripping on what, what the shit costs. Okay, I like that. Um, have them people call some other people and I need that. That's wealth. That's not, you know, to me, I don't know. Wealth is living. You know, it's truly living. And I'm not there yet. But it's a vision that um, I feel all over me. You know what I mean? I feel it all over me. Now, it might not be the same as your wealth. Your wealth might be to own a plane, you know, you know, um, own an island, um, you know, and, and be adored all over the world. That could be your wealth. That's fine. That's your wealth. Talk your wealth into existence. Me, this is my wealth. And this is what I'm talking in existence for me. I want to just have so many stamps in my passport book. I want to travel the world and see so many things. I want to eat, taste, do, and see everything. I want to smoke some of the coldest bud. You know what I mean? I want to make love to just this beautiful king that just loves me more than himself. You know, and that to me is wealth. You know, wealth is... You know, my kids are growing up and they're prosperous and they're healthy and, you know, they're just living, you know, really cool lives and they're being self-sufficient and independent and they're standing on the values and the truths that I've instilled in them. That's wealth for me. And I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I strive to be wealthy. I'm, you know, that is what I eat, sleep, and dream about. When I'm sitting outside and I'm listening to my wind chimes, and I'm just putting my feet in the water. And I'm thinking about my wealth. And what is it that I can do today that's going to sow a seed to get me over there tomorrow? My son has three more years and he'll be 18. My son's birthday is on the 6th, my baby. And he, oh my God, after that, I want to soar. I just want to go. I just want to do, see, and everything. The Whereas I have no, you know... Um, dependents that are looking for me to be there. Right now, I'm restricted. And it's rather selfish for me to just go for days and days and days and weeks and days. How can I do that when I have to ensure that my kids are getting to school every day? Still, I'm that mother that my kids never missed a day of school. Nor have my oldest missed a day of work. He's never missed a day of school since preschool. Head start, around three years old. And he turned 20 years old a couple days ago. He's never missed a day of work. He never missed a day of school in his life. All three of mine. Okay? So, my wealth is on a whole different level of maybe your wealth. Whatever your wealth is, then you need to nurture that wealth. You need to make that wealth grow and turn that into something big. You are so deserving. But the thing is, one thing about it though, God ain't gonna bless no mess. He's not going to bless no mess. So that means that you got to get your shit together. You got to get your mind right. You have to start treating people a little bit more fairly and a little bit more better. It's not, supposed, it's not so much as kissing nobody's ass or this and that or conceding or whatever. It's nothing about that. It's about saving your own soul. Because at the end of the day, your attendance in church is not going to be your golden ticket to get in the gate. It's not going to be that. It's going to be your works, the way you treated people, your integrity. That is everything. The energy, your aura, you know, those things are everything, and it means a lot. God blesses us according to our integrity level. So don't have a whole list of wealth, but God ain't even put you on, on the rich level yet because you out here hooking and crooking and being mean and jealous and envious and all this other kind of stuff and doing all kind of crazy shit. Get out of your own way. Walk into purpose. Begin to walk in purpose. I hold a light. You know, if you need somebody to hold a light, I'll hold a light. I will hold the light. I'll help walk you through this process. I'll tell you don't go that way. I went that way, girl. You don't want to go that way. It's some bullshit over there. I'll be that girl. But at any rate, this is starting today, Thursday, November 3rd. 
2016. You guys have an awesome day. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. Bye. Let's talk about this other thing in a minute.